Hello um, and welcome to this tutorial on something a little bit, bit different back on the old Cinema 4D and um, obviously because this is open to people on YouTube and my own students if you're unaware I also teach um, animation on the side as well so um, this is all about um, uh, animation and looking at motion capture and bringing that into Cinema 4D and how we can kind of configure it more than anything and adapt what we already have. So, um, what you can do if you don't have Cinema 4D, there is, um, if we go on to here, um, you can find, if you type in student Cinema 4D into Google and this link will probably be at the top so you can get your own free copy of Cinema 4D. Um, so just even experiment with things and stuff like that, really good for development, really good for portfolio work, even if you're not using um, and don't intend to use 3D within um, a final FMP piece for university or um, for college or A level work, I would say it's really good to um, experiment and develop your work and develop your understanding of 3D. Having additional skills never hurt anybody. So what you can do um, is three simple steps. Create a, a MyMax on account, download a Cinema 4D, and then you will apply for your free educational license. And the way you do that is um, whether you have um, proof that you are at a um, educational establishment. So for universities and for college, that would be a um, like an ID badge uh, for schools. They might even do ID badges at schools now as well. Um, but you can either have like a letter that you can um, take a photo of or something and scan in. And they usually get back to you within 24 hours. So you can have a free copy of Cinema 4D. Also, um, you, uh, can get free Adobe at the moment for the next two months um, if you are with an educational establishment as well. Okay, so um, what we're going to do today is um, obviously having motion capture is um, difficult. It's difficult to find um, and when you do find it, it can be quite expensive to pay for as well. Um, but when you do have it, the fruits of it are um, brilliant. And so essentially... A lot of people are unaware of this. It's more maybe what I've known is more gamers know about this. And this is Mixamo. So if you've never come across Mixamo before, as it says, um, it says get animated, animate 3D characters for games, films, and more. So um, you will need an Adobe login for this. So make sure you have that on you and you know that your password and everything like that, which will be the big challenge for me next, uh, remembering my password and then from um, there, we can have a look at characters and um, put one of the download one of these characters and implement them into Cinema 4D. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to log in. Lovely, it's remembered who I am. Fantastic, and it's remembered my password as well. So that's good. So straight away, as we're into Mixamo, it's all all moving, all singing, and all dancing straight away. So this is an old model that I've used. So what I'm going to do is click onto characters, and then hopefully we can choose a nice default character. So even if you're experimenting with a different game, you have a whole selection of different characters here. And I have recently updated this, actually. It looks really good now. Uh, what I'm going to do is just look for a... a absolute standard Y bot. So if I, um, do, 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 do. so yeah, I can even just click on this X bot and here we go, yeah, use this character. And that will just load up. Cool, lovely. So they're in the T pose, that's absolutely standard. We can then, up the top here, we can click animations and go through a whole host of different animations. So what I'm gonna do is gonna um, go through probably if you're experimenting with the most kind of movement. So if you click on Samba dancing, we have the Samba dancing and looking good. Oh, she's off Samba ring, fantastic. Um, and you can have them in one place as well. Um, let's have a look at Capiara. 
We've also got hip hop dancing. <laughs> cool, lovely, fantastic. So what you can do is choose one of these models. You can obviously edit the stance and everything like that. So if I pull that back up to here, more lean stance, we can energy, we can jiggle that up. There we go. So we've got lots of movement in the uh, shoulders there and the hips, fantastic. So then what you can do is click download. FBX format is the format you're gonna want. Um, 30 frames per second is absolutely fine for Cinema 4D. If you are doing it for a game, I would suggest FBX for Unity and 60 frames per second, but this is primarily a uh, um, animation tutorial, so we're gonna stick with FBX and stick with 30 frames per second. Skin, that means the body itself. Uh, without skin is if you just want the animation and you want to implement that onto a model you've already downloaded, but we're not gonna do that. Keyframe reduction, we can say none, that's absolutely fine. So what you're gonna do is click uh, download and that will download for you. And I have already done this in um, Cinema 4D. So there we go, this is my Cinema 4D. Done this earlier, so if I go to downloads, you can see, where is it? Uh, da, 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 hip hop dancing. And as you've downloaded it, we can just drag this straight into here. Da, 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 da. The project is already open. Do you want to open it with the same name and title? Yeah, that's fine. So we can click onto that. Lovely. And we're just gonna zoom in. And if we press play, we should have some hip hop dancing. Fantastic. Cool. So um, as we're kind of using and configuring Cinema 4D, um, we always want to look at the colors and to change these and kind of see what we can do and edit. But as you can see, we can't click on anything, we can't tick anything, which is really, really annoying. So what we need to do is we click on, um, let's say just these joints, or maybe we'll be able to click onto both of them and click window and go to take manager. We can then see um, if we click override and click lock overrides, go back to objects, we should be able to, if we double click on that material, we can now add bits and we can add bits. So we can now change the colors to how we see fit. So we can add some reflectance, we can add some like a metal reflectance. Uh, let's change this to cool, bring down the roughness. So then we got a nice shine. Cool, might bring that bump strength down. Cool, so we can edit, and there you can see already we've got this really nice kind of shiny kind of texture with our character. Um, so yeah, so have a play around uh, and get used to um, changing the materials of your character. It can look really, really cool. And again, you can do this for games or animations. Um, so once we've done that, we can do a lot more because this, um, unlocking or locking the um, overrides allows this to um, edit this um, motion capture uh, robot or Y-bot in any way, shape or form. So um, what we can do is if we click on the uh, beta underscore surface layer here, and then if we went up to um, da, 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 where is it? Simulate. What we can do? Um, hair objects. Add hair. Whoa! So there we go. Um, and as you can see, we can play that through, and <laughs> so we got our character all covered in hair. So and even if we render that through, it probably look hideous. But there we go. Um, so again, this is just playing around with Cinema 4D. That's looking good. So um, what else can we do this? Edit these hair options. So if we click on guides, we can then make sure what the roots, 
from his roots. Oh yeah, it's right here. And then let's change the length down from 100. Let's try 10. It's looking a bit better. Let's render that through again. Wicked. We play that through. We can see the hair has got some nice movement. Might just change that. To, let's try a 20. Almost like an abominable snowman. Looking good. Cool. So if we render this through, we can still see a lot of the um, the red shine from our character. So we can change this as well. Um, we'll change that in a minute. Let's have a look at what we can do with this hair first. Let's see if we can change it up. Dynamics. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's have a look. Now we've got properties. Rest mix. Let's change this to around 30. And then we change to rest hold. Let's just change it to 30 as well. Let's play this through. Let's do a render. Cool. Cool. So it's a little bit more frizzy. It's got a little bit more hold to it, but still, it's got some. It's got some nice movement there. Looking good. Cool. So um, let's go. Let's try and thicken up this hair because we can still can we still see the skin? I think we can. Yeah, it's thicken up this hair a little bit. Hopefully it won't kill the Mac totally. And let's go to hairs. The count is, was it 5,000? Let's try it, 10,000. Let's render that through, see what that looks like. Getting more, that's better. Um. Let's try 20,000, render that through. So again, I'm just playing around, oh, that's looking quite good. Um, playing around with this, experimenting. Awesome. Cool. So um, we can edit this scene. We can we can add a floor. We can add a light. Let's bring that light up. And then and let's see how angles that is. Let's pull that away. Pull that up. See how that renders. Cool, looking better. Uh, so at the moment we've got no shadow, so it looks a bit odd. So let's go into light. Uh, under shadows, we've got none, so that's not good. Let's go soft map shadows. Render that through again. Awesome, cool, so it's looking a lot better. So let's, let's move that there, let's see if we can get Nice. Quite like the shadow there. Probably lift that up and move that a bit away. So it's not as bad. Awesome. Cool. So again, all I'm doing is playing around. This is what I should be doing. Like there's little bits like the shadows you might not have known before, but we can get some really cool stuff with this. So, cool, let's see uh, what else we can do. Um, let's go and have a look at this hair material. As we come, as soon as you add the hair, the material pops up down here as well. So we can double click onto this and have an experiment with this. 
Um, so we should be able to create some kind. Uh, I don't want to create a texture, do I, for the color? We just want to load a preset. Whoa, okay, let's have a look at these. Let's try that one. Awesome. So as we can see, we're getting a lot more light here. Um, let's go into settings. Let's change this to my ambient occlusion. Let's see what that does for us. Mm, not much. Cool. Let's see if I can move this light any further away. Let's see what that does. Nice. Let's render that through. Wicked, that is looking uh, pretty good. Um, let's quickly have a look at this hair. So I've only changed the color, but as you can see, there's way more uh, things that we can add. Um, got thickness, uh, that's at root one. That's, that's quite nice. Um, is that a length? Let's change that to a variation of around 50%. Let's see what that looks like. Cool. Give that a quick render. Awesome. That's looking really cool. And you can't even see the skin. So let's play that through and see what that does as she's hip hopping around. We kick up like that. Let's see if we can see any skin. You can't at all. It's looking really nice. Cool. So what we will do uh, to add a little bit more flair to this, I'm going to go create uh, just a new material. And I'm going to make this material pretty reflective. So if we go to Ward, bring down that roughness, bring that reflection strength up. It's quite nice, spectra strength, it up a little bit. So we've got this nice reflective material. I'm gonna bung this into a floor, render this through, and see what this looks like. Nice, so we've now got some nice reflections coming through on the floor here. Let's just dip that down a little bit, render that through. Awesome, wicked. Um, so let's, I'm not too sure here, but if we play this through, I think I'm just gonna play it, pause this for a bit. Oh, it's all going on. And it's gonna begin to this. Render that through. So you might have a problem where the hairs are going through your floor. What we can do is um I'm not sure if it is. Anyway, if it is, what we can do. Um, let's have a look at what the angle looks like from here. What that plays like. <laughs> cool. So I don't think it, uh, it does look like here, just a little bit. I think the hairs are coming through. If your hairs are going through the floor, what we can do is we can add a tag to the hair. Um, so let's go on to click while click onto the hair. Um, hair tags and I think a hair collider should do it. I don't know if that will change really anything in a preview. Again. Nice. So what I'm going to do is I can get this in a nice angle. I'm getting the floor and our character so we can see that reflectiveness. Render that through. Cool, I might just add a little bit more. So ease down with that roughness. A little bit more shine through on the floor. Do a lot more reflections. 
Cool. So what I'm going to do is put that just a tiny bit. Let's run that through. Cool. I'm pretty happy with that. So if we want to preview this, what we can do is click and hold on here and we can go to make a preview. And we're going to ask for a full preview. Uh, MP4, that's fine. And as you can see, we only want a preview, so we're only really, really small. Um, I might just quickly change this to 500. Let's see what that says. 500 by 281. Um, I might push it. Let's try it. 720. 450. Cool. Um, and what I'll do, I'll probably stop the video and then I'll come back after this has done a render. So if I click OK on that, you can see that it says calculated preview down there. And uh, what I'll do is I will come back uh, once this video is um, rendered through because it could take some time um, and see what it looks like. Cool. I will see you in a bit. So this is our um, final render. Um, as you can see, it's only a small preview. Um, so, but if I press play, it looks really effective. And uh, what we were doing, we were playing around for no longer than kind of 20 minutes to create this really kind of realistic kind of effect. Um, we can also, we can zoom in as well. And as you can see, that hair collider is working really well on the feet now as it's pressing up on the hair as uh, well. So um, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial and um, I'm looking forward to seeing all your very creative um, motion captures and 3D animations. Cool, see you later.